Okay, I believe we are live. Let me just double check, make sure everything's working correctly. All right. Welcome, everyone. set up real quick hope you're all having a lovely day today this uh what is it uh fucking sunday yeah all right let me get on the game real quick And there we are. <laughs> Go ahead and start a fresh file. Welcome, everyone. Today, I'll be uh, playing through a childhood favorite of mine. Um, oh, wait, let me make sure the audio's going. The, the, uh... There we go. Now the audio for the game should be playing. <laughs> Yo, Zen Garden Party. Yo, Joe Bullet Chief. Yo, Connor. Yo, uh, Nola Neba. Nebula, rather. And yo, Heyon Pudas, or Poods. Welcome. Today we're going to be playing a uh, childhood favorite of mine. This is technically the first video game I ever, like, played and beat all the way through. When I was probably around... Oh, gosh. I'm going to say around 7 or 8 was when I first played this game. Beat it all the way through. I grew up watching... um. My parents playing at first, um, but uh, yeah, then I eventually got the courage to try it myself hey, as a kid. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it hey, what's up, Dylan? Uh, yo, alter age. ego, bro. We now have twelve thousand. It's going pretty good. Um, I just wanted to chill out. Um, what this fine this Sunday Danette? evening, play a little bit of Spyro. Now, been itching to play it again for a little bit. Um, I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. They're wrong. I've been, been playing the Reignited Trilogy and I loved it. Yeah, no, the Reignited Trilogy is really awesome. Um, I've also played that multiple times. I, uh, I wanted to play the original today, though, because, um, it's been a little while since I played the classic. It's what I grew up with. No, uh, we may, we may eventually play the Reignited Trilogy at another point. Yeah, another stream as well, but um, want to play the original I grew up with today. Um, what's your next uh, video going to be? Well, since you asked hate on Purge, I might as well uh, inform you guys that currently, um, I actually started this stream to take a little break because I'm currently editing the Ritual Pasta Iceberg video, and it is like um, I'm about. I'm gonna say 15% done editing. Um, mind you, I imagine I'll probably finish editing within the next day or two. Um, probably look forward to like a Tuesday or Wednesday release for that video. It'll be about a two hour video. Uh, rich, and it'll be like the, just a full iceberg. No parts or anything, just a full one with that. I've been hearing stuff about a new Spyro game. Release yeah, there is a new Spyro game that is apparently being made. Uh, Spyro 4. By, um... I guess being developed by Toys for Bob, who did, like, the Reignited Trilogy. Uh, remake, and what have you. Um, I think the, there's like a YouTube channel called Canadian Guy A, and he kind of like covered that in some detail. 
within the last Keep month or so. On, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? The what pot? The ritual Spark, pasta iceberg. And and you. Um, I guess for those who are not familiar, uh, ritual pastas would be anything like, um, like, uh, Bloody Mary, uh, fucking, uh, if you're familiar with the Three Kings game, um, that sort of thing. Basically rituals to try to summon demons or whatever to, like, grant you a wish or just for, like, shits and giggles, I guess. It can vary from ritual to ritual, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Um, that'll be the next video. And it should be out again this, uh, about the middle of this next week. Okay. So like Charlie Charlie and the Red... Yeah, exactly. Stuff like that, pretty much. Um... If you're familiar, also, even though it's got, like, a bad connotation towards it, you know, those, like, uh, 3 a.m. challenge videos and shit that kind of were, like, making the rounds for a little while on YouTube. Kind of, like, shit like that. Um, so, you know, uh, I guess I can look forward to stuff like that. Yeah, it's Four Kings and Dark Souls. This game needs some Pizza Hut to go with it. True, true. Uh, I do. Yeah, I am. Um, I absolutely love this game. Um, the or actually, I love the whole, like, original trilogy as a whole. Um, and uh, I'll probably end up playing the second and third games uh, being s via streams eventually as well. Um, but, um, they, they, uh, the soundtrack, the atmosphere, like, example, right? Look at this. Look at this little, this room. It's got, like, this purple lights, right? From, like, the little water down there. Got like yellow lighting effects on the things. It's just like every like area of this game just got so many little comfy spots that really sit out in my mind. Spyro, uh, want to know a secret? Use the I like Spyro, especially Greek Natural. She's Spyro. We need Spyro Four oh, now. I agree. Spyro Four is definitely something I'm excited to see. Um, You think Sparrow will ever uh, get his own live action movie? I. I really hope not. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds terrible. Uh, I guess an animated Sparrow movie wouldn't be, like, terrible. But, um, I'm gonna be real. I'm not, like. I'm not one of those people that's, like. I don't need movies made of video games I like, to be honest, you know? Like, they kind of just result in shittier versions of uh, those experiences, you know? The bottom actually so satanic things you can't imagine just challenges to do a school bathroom. Um metal armor is So like uh there's like some things like to do with like summoning the devil and shit like that in there. Um there's like a good mixture of like 
different things on there. Uh, mind you, I, and I explained this in a video, um, that uh, there isn't really a really good definitive ritual pasta iceberg that's ever been made. Um, so I kind of had to make one myself um, based on like looking around and finding some good ones. Um, and there was like a ton of ritual pastas that were just like so blatantly like the exact same thing as another one or just like incredibly stupid and boring that I had to cut out a lot of them. I, you know, I could have made a longer video and it could have been like, you know, look at all these shitty ones, but it does become rather redundant after a while. So that's why there's going to be only one part because um, I just wanted to show some of the most interesting ones overall. Big enemies like this, Gnork with the club cannot be charged. Yo, how's it going, Saber? It's going good. How you doing, man? Um, let's see. What cartoon is it you used to, uh, in your pre-streams we get? Uh, yeah, it's like, um, uh, I'm forgetting the fucking name of it, but it's like the Silly Skeleton Symphony thing. Um, if you look up Spooky Scary Skeleton Cartoon on YouTube, you will find it like freely available on YouTube. So if that like helps. But yeah, there's like a shot in it where there's like a spooky looking owl. Um No way you're streaming? Yeah, I am streaming comic gamer. Um uh, just watching Captain Nesson interview, that's great. Yeah. Glad you uh, were watching and enjoying that. Um, yeah, I uh, like I said, I've been wanting to like stream more, and so trying to do at least two or three streams a month from now on, um, just for the fun of it. Where I go on here? Let me check the chat. Um, what do you think, Dexter? from Jack and Daxter tastes like? I don't know. Um, like, probably kind of gamey, I imagine. You know? Like, whatever a ferret tastes like is how, is what he would taste like, I imagine. So I just wanted to ask, um, when the second part of the Internet Fables video on Doug Walker is going to come out? Well, technically, um, the Doug Walker thing has been a continuous series with the channel awesome one so the uh nostalgia chick is part of it the linkara stuff has been part of it and the spoony stuff is all it's all part of it um yo thank you zen garden party for the five bucks thank you so much um names check um, in honor of my favorite purple dragon, uh, favorite YouTuber. Oh, thank you so very much, in Garden Party. Oh, holy shit! Thank you, Cancer, for the ten dollars. Um, thank you so fucking much. Uh, off topic, but before the stream, I was listening to old Sleepy Cast, and uh, last episode I listened to sh had Shad on uh, an episode and started with uh, a question on how to kidnap kids in the modern day. Yeah, yeah, you know that. Uh, that makes sense. Um, needless to say, uh, in the uh, upcoming Newgrounds Iceberg, I'll uh, be covering Shadman and his like degeneracy in full. been a little while since I played Spyro, so, uh, 
little out of season here. Hopefully I don't uh, mess up on the speedway. Uh, that would be very sad. Okay, now we're good, we're good, we're good. sense i was uh really curious on how the first episode ends off where you're going to cover all the channel awesome movies yeah um i i do plan on covering all the channel awesome movies the way i'm kind of i have the retrospective structured is i'm going to be covering all of the people who appear in the movies first and then i'm going to move on into talking about the movie so like the way i'd kind of view it the best way i could describe it right now is um the uh the the Kickassia movie is kind of like the season one ending of this retrospective. After I've covered like a bunch of the creators that all appear in the Kickassia movie, so that way by the time we get we actually like cover Kickassia in the retrospective, you will have full knowledge of like everybody who's in it. Um, and then from there, we'll move on to being a more general thing with some of the other movies and stuff. But that's kind of the concept. That's the plan, um, for right now. Top 10 3D platformers go, uh, fucking, I could never, that's really hard, but probably, uh, Spiral the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Jack and Daxter, Gex. There's like there's there's so many that I would there on there. Um, yo, thank you, Bernie Katzroy, uh, for the two dollars. Will you be covering Linkara himself and Iron Liz? Um, yeah, I will be covering Linkara. Um, the next part of the retrospective is covering the um, the uh, what you call it. Um, uh, Lightbringer comic, webcomic first. Then I'll be actually covering his actual, um, videos and his series and kind of some of the, like, extended lore and all that good stuff. Um, as for, uh, the other, like, Iron Rillas, uh, probably not in detail, no. Nah. I'm only covering people worth covering, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> so. Um. Will Miss Gamer Perspective coming at some point? Uh, probably not. I will mention her, though. She did. That I did kind of mention her in the Captain S video. But, yeah. Run into trouble, Spyro. Nice. Um, thoughts on the new live action Popeye movie? Um, I guess I don't really have any. I've not even seen, like, a trailer for it. I like all your vids, but I've been especially enjoying your internet fables. Well, thank you so much, Halen Puds. I'm glad that you enjoy them so much. Um. I thought it was a of a nostalgia pick video. Uh, Linkara. Yeah, Linkara one's coming up here soon. Would you consider doing Popular Sailor Mag retrospective? Uh, no. Just gonna be real with you. No. Um, and also earlier, someone asked if I would do a Rayman retrospective. Maybe. Maybe. It's not out of the question. But, you know. There's other stuff that's definitely going to be coming way before that. Um, Arliss is part of the Linkara lore. True. True. There'll be some stuff that... You'll see how I... You'll see how it all gets covered by the time I, uh, talk about it. Don't want to spoil too much with that. But yeah, Linkara, his actual videos and his uh, uh, Lightbringer webcomic are the next videos in that retrospective coming up. No thanks. See ya. Then after um, uh, Linkara retrospective, uh, next will come uh, Spoonie.
which I'm definitely looking forward to. Especially because Spoonie is especially integrated within the Linkara video lore, his character, like in Doctor Insano and whatnot, appears and collaborates with uh, Lewis a lot in those videos, so it'll be a natural uh, follow-up. Yes, betrayal, betrayal. <laughs> and that moment will be covered in full, trust me. Uh, see you later, Alter Ego Bro. Thanks for stopping by. Also, Dylan, thank you for introducing me to Mike and Melissa. So much animation uh, and animators with cult followings. I had no idea. Cause it, well, well, I'm glad that you enjoyed that, man. I'm always happy to show off weird little corners of the internet when I can. Don't tell me how to play the game. <laughs> Do you think Godzilla has tea parties with King Kong? Uh, maybe. Perhaps. Speaking of that, um, actually tomorrow I'll be, um, I'll be seeing the new Godzilla movie. Uh, Godzilla X Kong, um, or just Godzilla and Kong really is the title, but you know. Um, so I'm excited for that. Um, uh, for those who aren't already aware, I'm a pretty big fan of the Godzilla series. It's another one, speaking of, like, things I grew up with, that I grew up with as a kid. Um, so, definitely looking forward to that. Um... Hopefully he's good. I'll, uh, I'll probably just be I'll probably be doing a 100% playthrough today because Spiral One is like very easy to 100%. It's like you know, it, to me, I don't know how to play this game without 100%ing it at this point because my brain is like wired to go collect all the gems and shit um, before I exit a level. So it's like, I, it's just, uh, it, it would be legitimately more difficult in my brain to not do that. Um, it's also one of the most fun games to collect everything in, so. Look how, look, just look how, look at that, look how juicy those gems are. Just look how fucking delicious those things look like to collect. And then the sound? Yeah. That's good shit. That's good 3D platformer design. Hey Spyro, press the jump button. I think I watched the same day as and, uh, and don't be afraid. Uh, oh, that would be a peaks, pretty funny double feature indeed. Glaciers? Oh, that. And you know those gems really like candy. Yeah, we like rock candy. Feels wrong not fully completing it. Yeah, I agree, Goat Cannon. Uh, also, welcome, Goat Cannon. Um, yeah, yeah. I've played this game far, far too many times to not um, automatically fucking like collect everything there is to collect in the game. It's also not super long when you know what you're doing anyway, so... Sparks didn't fucking collect that gem. Oh, you bitch. Get the fucking gem, Sparks. Oh, 
Oh my god. So something I actually have to get used to again, because it's been a while since I played the original game, is um, I played the Reignited Trilogy a fair bit, and I forgot you don't have the analog stick control, so you gotta use R2 and L2 for the camera, which is actually perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with the camera controls in this game. It's just um, my brain, I have to like rewire my brain to remember that. Um... Uh, hi Dylan, I enjoyed your icebergs and especially Richard Kuda because uh, his story was insane. I'm glad it uh, I turned I tuned into this awesome chill stream. Well, thank you, Water Yoshi, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. And yeah, Richard Kuda video is one of my favorite videos I've ever created. I really, really it was like a passion project. I I want when I had made that video. I've been thinking Welcome about making that video, planning it for over a year. Begin um, by gliding to so, it was very cathartic to finally L2 get it done. I'm glad a lot of people enjoy look. it. Have you watched the recent Smiling Friends episode with Wembley? A direct reference to the games like Spar I have been Zaya Katsuroi, and I love that episode. It's fucking hilarious. Um, I like that you can, like, charging these guys and they're just stuck here see the thing is, is that I could kill them like that right put them out of their misery or I could let's leave them here just to slowly fucking starve to death and die because there's no way they're ever gonna get out of the situation just some food for thought you know I think that's pretty cool how people slowly suffer and die yeah can we get, like, some fucking, you know, hogs in the chat or fucking whatever for <laughs> fucking killing, <laughs> making bulls fucking suffer a slow, painful death? Um, Thanks, is this the first Spyro game? Yes, it is. But yeah, I love the Gwimbly episode. It was super Did duper you know fucking funny. Um, Smiling Frames in general is just really, really funny. But that episode was, like, just packed to the brim with really good moments. Uh, let's see. Can you spare some crusade? Would you like to kiss Rayman on his cute big nose? I sure would. I would love to kiss Rayman on his big, fat, yellow nose. It's a very kissable nose. Any significant changes between the original trilogy and reignited trilogy, mainly level design or movement? Um, so besides like some camera movement stuff, it is mostly visual things that are different from the original to the reignited trilogy. Um, gameplay is pretty much identical. Um, with very, very few things. It really comes down to a visual difference animation difference and like again a lot of the characters are like designed differently in the reignited trilogy um now personally i am always going to be biased towards the original trilogy because it's what i grew up with and i personally think the designs in the original trilogy are um timeless very cute and very charming however I, uh, I also think that the Reignited Trilogy is pretty cool as well, and if that's the only way you can, like, easily play it, it's a perfectly good way to play the game. Um, that being said, I would always recommend playing the original first if you have the means, and then give the Reignited Trilogy a try. It can kind of help you put into perspective, like, what was changed, and, um, these are not super long games anyway, so it's not like a big time commitment or anything. Um, and the vibe is just very different visually between them Thank um, in some places. Me. 
Uh, I wish they would make another Rayman game with Razor Beard in it. I agree. Um, that'd be sick. Razor Beard was the goat. Um, I, a lot of changes are really sweet, but uh, some of them are questionable to say. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Um, hey, Dylan playing Sparrow. I see. Yep, I sure am. Um, playing the based purple dragon game. Um, no, yeah, I agree. There are some things that I like a lot in the Reignited Trilogy. I like how. I like some of the little additions to some of the worlds they added. Like, I like how in the level, um, Dark Hollow, they made, like, a little library and stuff. Um, but, uh, there's other things that I think, there's, like, a, there's a certain etherealness with the original game that is, I think you're just never going to emulate with modern graphics. It, it, it is beautiful in its own artistic way. And I'll give you an example of just that right now. Look at this shit, right? Look at that. This, look how beautiful, like, the sky looks. It's like, orange contrasted with these, like, purples and shit. Very pretty. And, uh, while, the, while a lot of the design in the, um... Reunited Trilogy, it's still, it's still good. Um, uh, I think you do owe it to yourself to uh, play the original at least once. And, uh, you know, just so we're clear, it's very, 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 very easy to emulate <laughs> uh, PS1 games. So, I imagine, realistically, if you have a computer of any kind, you do have the means to play the original uh, game. So, just putting that out there as well. And, uh, emulator, which is the one I'm playing on right now, I recommend is, uh, Duck Station. You can even, like, uh, you know, add a little couple things. You can even have, like, widescreen hacks and stuff to the game if you want to. I chose not to do that because I just wanted to just have the normal aspect ratio. But if you want to do stuff like that, you can do that in Duck Station. Has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge Did you play Terry Jam and Earl back in the, in the groove? I love, I've never played that game. I have heard about it, though, at Human Puds, but I've never played it myself. I do have the original PlayStation, so I may try to get my grubby uh, mitts on the game. If you do want to play on the original hardware, um, the uh, Spyro games are not actually like that expensive if you go on eBay and the like. Um, especially if you don't like really give a shit about like if it's in a green label or a black label or fucking whatever. Um, you can get it for pretty cheap. Uh, relatively speaking for like, you know, what PS1 games can go for sometimes on the, the market and shit. So... I'd recommend it. I do personally own um, the original Trilogy Collector's Edition on the PS1. Because uh, these are very important games to me, so I shield the extra money for the Collector's Edition. Which has no other difference besides it saying Collector's Edition on the, uh, on the, uh, the cover. But, you know. I'm just a fucking stupid ass nerd like that, you know. Alright, on to the next world. The next fucking homeworld. Peacekeepers. We're going to Sandland. What are you talking about, PC? That shit can, uh, run Ultra Kill. Yeah. Uh, if you remove the texture warping, you're a coward. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Was that sheep on still? It was a sheep on stilts. That was the that was the first boss of the game. Fucking toasty. 
curious what direction they go for Sparrow for Sparrow for Fattens. Um, has been turned against us and the stolen. idea of them we aging the cast spot. up a little bit, like Collect the third treasure. legend of Got the game. It. That would be interesting. I imagine they don't want to go too, too crazy. They probably want to do something similar to, like, in the vein of Crash 4, where it's sort of like, um, it's like Spyro, the original trilogy, but just more of it. Like, maybe a little bit more difficult. Um, you know, just like the a really good or even possibly attempting to be the best in, like, the formula it can be. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, if they do H the cast up, though, um, I think it could be kind of interesting. I kind of, you know, it's funny. Spyro is supposed to be like fucking, I don't know, like a kid or something. But it's funny. In my head, he's always a teenager. Um,. That's always what I imagined him as, as a kid. And it's kind of what he acts like to me. Um, but, so if they like made him officially a teenager in Spiral 4, I don't actually know if there would be that much of a difference. Um, but I mean, you know, maybe it's just for the sake of, you know, there being a time thingy or whatever. He's fucking stealing shit. Do you have a favorite game from each specific genre? I mean, that's a hard fucking question to answer, uh, but... I mean, I suppose so, yeah. Um, I'd have to think about it. Um... Thank you for releasing me! A wimpy ass dragon. Um, but yeah, I'd have to think about it. Um, Say I definitely have favorite, like, like lots of favorite different things. Like for three platformers, like I said, Spiral Crash, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank Dry Canyon rewards come to gliders. mind. You are a good glider, a RPGs, Final Fantasy Seven, Final Fantasy Six, <laughs> uh, some of the Persona games, and yeah. Um, I hope Spiral 4 won't be taxing with uh, collectibles as it's, it's Crash 4. Uh, probably, it probably won't be. Um, Crash 4 was really a game made for like Crash veterans. And I, so I really appreciated. Ooh, okay, that was a little sketchy, but all right. Um, so I appreciated that personally, but. Spyro's never really been known for being very difficult, glide, and when it comes Spyro, to collecting stuff, I, be I don't imagine it'd be too, too, like, crazy head. with that. Words might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled, with a pinch of salt. Spyro sounds like a ch uh, chain-smoking teenager, according to Catacris. Interesting description. <laughs> camera there.
That you, Spyro? So you literally me. Is that literally you, about? Saber? You chain smoking cage? You've known? Ah, I forget. What's your favorite anime for this century? Uh. I don't know, that's hard to pick, but, um, we're talking, like, this century, fucking, I don't know, I'll just say the rebuild of Evangelion movies, but, um, I got, like, yeah, several shit that I like. You'll have to, uh, be, s you'll have to stream the scuffed Japanese version of Spiral Up. Yeah, that, uh, I might do that at some point. It is a pretty funny, uh, version to play, to say the least. I sure don't know, there's several differences with the Japanese version of Spiral 1. Um... Notably, the camera system is completely fucking different in it. Um, there's also, like, weird hint boxes and, like, a couple little other strange mechanics that don't really serve any, like, real purpose, but, um, it is nonetheless kind of interesting. Overall, a much, a far worse version of the game, but still kind of novel and uh, how different it is. don't believe uh, that he said that I will give you the video the timestamp no no I believe I, I believe you I believe you uh, <laughs> it sounds like something you would say mind this century I've been Dragon Ball series Naruto and Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw the Chainsaw Man's really good as well there's a lot of good ones also, gotta like, uh, note this, these infamous guys, you know, shaking their big fat yellow ass at me, twerking it. Check that out. Check out that PS1 ass. Spyro, Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. You know, it's funny. I think what got me in the mood to um, replay this game recently is I've been um, I've been watching like a lot of um, uh, speed runs of this game as of late kind of in the background while i'm like working on shit from time to time um in particular if you're familiar with uh uh the streamer deo man watched quite a few of his things um
I personally would not um, attempt speed running just because it seems like a it's not something you casually do you know it's like a, it's a commitment uh, seems like a good way of um, frankly ruining some games for, your, for yourself depending on the game but you know it is I do find it strangely quite entertaining to watch Spyro, keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Once you learn how speed uh, the speed run a game, it becomes really difficult to enjoy the game casually again. Yeah, I, I could see that. Um, that's sort of what I imagined it would be like to some degree, like. Probably kind of hard to like just casually like play a game at that point, you know. Um, but I do still uh, find like speedrunning documentaries and like speedruns of games I'm really familiar with, like Spyro and uh, Sly Cooper and stuff. It'd be quite entertaining all the same just because I don't know it it itches a part of my brain you know I can't quite put my finger on it but you pro some of you probably know what I mean so my mom and dad uh, do woodworking they earned more than 500 yes well, that's awesome I'm glad for them doing that sick Good for you. Speaking of, uh, childhood games and shit. What's some childhood games that, uh, you guys enjoyed back in the day? Some of your favorites that you still like to return to once in a while, if you haven't. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't harm. See Bioshock. Okay, that's cool. Um, Batman Arkham series. Uh, I've, I, uh, I played the first Batman Arkham game. Actually, I think I did play the first Bioshock as well at some point. Um, but it's been a while. I don't remember a whole lot about it, admittingly. Sonic Mega Collection Plus was the first game I ever played. That's a pretty cool first game. Um, I also grew up with Sonic Mega Collection. Not 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 Mega Mega Collection Plus, just the normal Sonic Mega Collection on uh, the GameCube. That was how I 
first played like all those like classic Sonic games. Um, wasn't my first Sonic game, any of those, though. I got Sonic Adventure DX first before that. Uh, I played Super Mario Bros. Uh, DS as a kid. Still revisit the goal uh, for good old times' out. sake. That's awesome, Mario Yoshi. Yeah, I, 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 did, I played that as well. Um... I played um, quite a few of the Mario games back in the day. Actually, the way I played all the Mario games for the first time was on the Game Boy Advance. Um, played through Mario 2 and 3 and uh, Super Mario World that way. Super Mario World was definitely my favorite amongst those. consider it probably be my favorite uh, 2D Mario game. Illusion of Gaia and uh, Terranigma. I've, le I've heard of Illusion of Gaia. I've never heard of the other one though. Um, it's pretty interesting. First game I ever played was an old Commodore 64 game now. called Kane. You First game I anywhere. played that people have I heard of is Super Mario Bros. 2 NES. Yes. Sick! Alright, I'm a dip. Keep up the good work, homie. See you later, Saber. Nice to see you here, man. Genesis Collection on PS3 were the games I grew up with the most, but first Sonic game was Sonic Battle on the GBA. Cool. Yeah, I also played a little bit of the Sonic Genesis Collection on PS3. iceberg ideas of mine well mind you the main ones I've got going on right now is the Wikipedia iceberg which uh, there's still two more parts of to be finished oh man I'm missing the missing a fucking a fiver where's my fucking five gem at Oh, you never want to be in this position where you got one more fucking gem. Oh, there it is. All right. We got it. I figured it was in one of those. Um, so yeah, two more parts of the Wikipedia iceberg will be coming out. Obviously, there's the Ritual Pasta iceberg, which is the next video coming out this week. Um, and uh, also, there is the Newgrounds Iceberg, which will be started sometime here eventually. Um, so, like, those are the main things I got right now. Um, there is other icebergs that I plan on doing, too. Um, some more big plot ones that I don't want to reveal just yet. But, yes, I do have several others planned, too. I'll kind of reveal those as others get finished and, you know kind of go from there but uh, I'm kind of the type of guy where and I've always kind of been this way I plan like so many things that it's kind of like 
Like, I have a book. Um, handwritten full of video ideas. And I'm always adding to it. And I have over 500 video ideas in that book. So, um, I guess. Yeah. I'm, uh, my, I'm never, I'm never, uh, lacking in ideas and stuff coming up. The only time I'm ever, the only thing I'm ever lacking in is the time to be able to make them all. Um, and that's not saying that I don't have the time to make it. It's just I have so many gigantic projects that they all take time to make, you know. Um, but I think that's a much better position to be in than being, you know, having none at all and kind of flying by whatever. So I'm. It's, it's a good problem to have. That's neat. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. 500, that's more than a lifetime's worth. How uh, do you prioritize them? Um, I, I prioritize them somewhat based on, like, what is most interesting to me in the moment. Um, and sometimes I prioritize them by what I, I have, like, a, a timeline of, like, videos that I think would, like, I would, like, Okay, like, maybe there's one I'd want to make at this point, but I need to make this video first for that one to, like, have the full impact that I want it to have. Um, so, uh, example being, I want to do a Sly Cooper retrospective. Um, but for it to have the full impact I want it to have, I'm going, I need to finish the Crash one first. Now, you might be wondering, why is that? Well, you'll find out when it comes out eventually. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. So there is, like, there is a bit of a method to my madness with that. Thank you for Some of it just comes down to what am I most interested in? What do I feel like making in the moment? And other times, it's what, uh, what, what message, what idea or concept do I want to share with a video? Um, and which ones would, like, benefit being made first? first for that. It is a lifetime's worth, though, which is why, you know, I, I kind of have to live, this is something that I've had to live with in my brain, and this goes beyond just videos, okay? This goes into, like, concept for, for novels that I've had in my head and things. Um, I realize that I have more ideas in my brain than I probably have time on this earth to live. And that's one of those weird things you have to like sit back and think, man, that's kind of, that's, that's wild. Um, but, you know, again, I think that is a good problem to have. I'd always rather have a million ideas that Maybe I'll never be able to fully get to. Although I'll certainly try. Don't think, don't take that as, as me being defeatist. I certainly am going to try. Um, but I'd rather have that than be out of ideas. Uh oh, that's uh, five forty. You're out of time. <laughs> yeah. Dylan, what's your 213th idea? I would need to go open up my book to see. Also, I don't number the ideas. I just counted them at one point. So I'd, I'd have to count them <laughs> to fucking go through. So I don't know. I, I legit don't know. Um, but... If I were to take a wild guess... Is probably some kind of video game or anime retrospective or something like that, you know. Uh, I meant to describe even our iceberg in at least uh, in the least amount. Wait, so describe even? Oh, you want me to describe even our iceberg? Um. It's an iceberg full of uh, very interesting 
drama and degenerates and um, other cool stuff. Watch it if you wish to learn many interesting internet uh, lore and also be disgusted with all of humanity for a brief amount of time. That's how I describe it, probably. Ooh, that's so cool. What kind of ideas do you have for... Or no. Well, um, I am hoping to share some more with, with, with some of it with you guys here soon. Um, I have shown some of it on, on my Patreon. Um, but I do have a whole, like, a novel series that I have been plotting out for quite some time and outlining and writing bit by bit as I go along called um, Raven's Rhapsody. Um... And I'll just say this, that you will soon be learning a lot more about it um, eventually here. Um, You've done well. Because I, uh, I plan on having, um, like, uh, videos made about it. They'll be, like, uh, I plan on making some, like, animatics and the like. For this, uh... Oh, where's that last fucking gem? It's gonna bug the shit out of me. Um... Uh, there'll be some, like, animatics and other such things made around it, so... Um... I hope to be able to share, like, all the details regarding that here. Um... Sometime before the end of this year. Um... It is one of those things I've had to put on the back burner time and time again because um, at this point I am like going full time on YouTube and there's a lot of things that I, you know, that's like that that always takes the priority at the moment because that's the active, you know, creative thing I'm doing right now. But, 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 you will know more about the book stuff here eventually. Um, Brief playthrough of Spyro. Yeah, uh, just gonna collect everything. Or it would be brief if I'm not fucking, if I wasn't missing a fucking red gem. I, of course, I would, I would, uh, miss something on a playthrough. Where the fuck is, where the fuck is that shit? Aw, oh, man. I'll reach out until then. Um,. Some um, images in the iceberg are going to live in my brain. Yeah, no, the Demon Iceberg has some extremely cursed images. Um, and some individuals that, to be perfectly honest, um, cannot be fully described in words without simply, like, reading their own things. There are some extremely bizarre people on there. Also, it's through uh, Demon Art Iceberg I found out how fucking, like, crazy the Vore community is. Because, uh, well, there's, uh, there's some, there's some lore regarding that, um, but, uh, those people are very upset with me. Man, where the fuck is this last gem? Like I've looked fucking everywhere. Am I just like, am I blind? Where the fuck is it? Uh. Hmm. Uh. 
flick through your iceberg videos and see subscription YouTubers have added to the other videos, kind of like Netflix and their phones. Remember, I was going uh, to get changed, but my buddy Sushi went uh, on his own retrospective on that game. Two hours of insane rambling later, and I decided to keep to see. Oh, that's great. Looking forward to seeing more content from a novel. Sounds like so uh, exciting. Well, thank you so much, uh, Lady Chan. I'm glad that you're interested in it. Um, I really, I really do appreciate that. Um, and I promise you will, you will see more stuff of it here um, sometime soon. That last gem! Holy shit! Favorite Ralph, uh, any favorite Ralph Bakshi movies you like? What's your favorite tie between uh, Coonskin and Heavy Crap? Um, my favorite is probably Wizards, just because I really like the overall like world and setting of that one. Um, thought it was very. Whoa, there it is! Holy shit! It's like in plain fucking sight. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Sorry to anyone who might have seen that gem that I passed over like a million times. Uh, yeah, at this point, I'm not sure I'd pick. Uh... But yeah, uh, Wizards definitely is my favorite of uh, Ralph Bakshi's films. It's good shit. All right, second boss level. Let's go, Doctor Shemp. Um. Uh... But yeah, um, little little funny bit of lore some of you might not be aware of, um, but um, so like after I made my DeviantArt iceberg, there one of the now I, I, I'm gonna be real I don't remember what the name of the uh, the Vor artist was, but there was some Vor artist that apparently like left, <clears throat> like um, <coughs> oh fuck take a drink of water um there are some vor artists that like left all of um like dvnr and the other like fetish websites he was a part of and um for whatever reason um and so like a, a bunch of the um the the vor community um were like wondering where the fuck did he go you know and they're like Thinking that like did something happen? Was he like bullied or doxxed or something? Like what the fuck happened? And um, for whatever reason, what proceeded to happen is I was then out of nowhere blamed for this guy leaving. Um, even though like I only very briefly covered him in um in the DeviantArt iceberg. Um, and to be honest, he was just like one of like probably 50 war artists I ended up covering in that iceberg. Um, but for whatever reason, it started going, going around that I was the cause for um, that guy leaving. Um, and when I asked people, you know, did that guy say that or where that was like noted, um, basically no one actually had any evidence towards it. Like, at all, and they just all, like, hive mind decided that I was the reason why, so that was really funny. But for that reason, you'll notice there's, like, a bunch of, um, 
bunch of like dislikes on the on the whole compilation. Um, shit, uh, Beaver and Iceberg, and that's why. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there a reason that's not hitting? Me? Okay. Bro, what the fuck? What what's going on here? What? I don't know if this is an emulation glitch or something, but that is supposed to like kill him when you blow fire on him there. Hopefully that's not a problem. But anyway, that's a little bit of uh, I guess behind the scenes lore for y'all. Okay. Okay, finally. Damn. The hitbox on that was not ever that tight before. I don't know what happened there. Very bizarre. Oh, sick, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. It's just been... This is in a total fucking wash at this point. Fucking died twice on fucking Dr. Shemp. Also, yeah, uh, Monica Magica's based anime. Good shit. Watch that, um, uh, I guess, yeah, it was like, yeah, last year. Watch that one last year. Um, it's, uh, good shit. Also watched all the movies. I'm very excited for the last movie coming out. Um, Whenever that's coming out, I don't know. I don't think they actually have a release date yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Random um, bit of trivia about this game, some of you may or may not know about. But these like flight levels, these like speedways, whatever you want to call them, um, these levels had uh, Insomniac Games, when they were designing these levels, got a uh, fucking rocket scientist to help them with like the physics and like design of these levels. Which I've always thought was quite the interesting detail. Um, war or inflation are probably one of the uh, few funniest fetishes anyone could ever have. Yeah, they, they, they are pretty. They are pretty funny. Ro Yo, rocket sci uh, scientist for Spyro. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no, they like uh, hired a rocket scientist for those levels. Um, did I get everything here? Pretty sure I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, on to Magic Crafters. Out of Sandland, into Magic Crafters. Let's go. Yeah, it's one of the lesser talked about factoids about the original Spiral game.
sure many of you also are probably aware, I imagine, but another one is um, that uh, Stuart Copeland from The Police, the band The Police, uh, did the soundtrack for all these games for the original trilogy. you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, Stuart Copeland of the police did the soundtrack to all three of the original Sparrow games. They, uh, they are the soundtracks of my childhood. Needless to say, so very nice. Creepasta about how Spiral is a dystopian future about robot disguised as rope. I see it. Dragons disguised as robots. I see. Be very cool. Always like these big yellow motherfuckers. Fucking stomping around and shit. afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not. I didn't think so. How's you, uh, how's you guys, uh, weekend been, by the way? Been up to anything interesting? Play any games or watched anything, whatever. I personally, like I said before, have been working on the uh, Ritual Pasta Iceberg, so. Um, hope to have that out to you soon. Also, well, that and I also. Uh, been working a bit on the script of the uh, Crash of the Titans retrospective video as well. Um, I uh, I was I've been getting extra footage of that, doing another playthrough. Um, so also doing that. I have the uh, the history part of that video locked down at this point. Um, and, uh, I'm pretty proud of it thus far. Definitely looking forward to sharing that video with you guys. I even bought a physical copy of, um, Crash of the Titans for the video for a live-action skit of sorts. I'll let you guys use your imaginations to... What I might be doing with said Crash of the Titans copy. Oh, thank you for releasing me. I'm a huge fan of these 90s slash 80s video games. Yeah, this one's uh this this would be a 90s one. Um, but yeah, I grew up with the PlayStation One, so a lot of the uh, well PlayStation One and PlayStation Two, I suppose. But um, so a lot of the games on there. 
very near and dear to me. I know a lot of people grew up with the N64. Um, but I didn't get that until way later. Also, look at this guy. This bitch. Been stomping around and screaming. Shut the fuck up, you stupid dumbass. Um... Fair enough, fair enough. Hope you at least had a nice time at work. And if you didn't, I hope you at least made some good money. Good, uh, old Spyro, funny, I was thinking of playing this game today. Well, how world. have you been? Yo, uh, Roxy Ways, I've been doing very good. Um, just, uh, been working on different video projects and the like, essentially. Um, wanted to do a little chill stream. Video. Awesome! Glad you're excited for that one, Water Yoshi. during the weekend. Oh yeah, fair enough. Been working on an art project over this past weekend. Been uh been busy, but this stream definitely is nice to uh for the weekend. Also, I'm glad you've been working on a nice art project. Um I can definitely relay I do I definitely am I'm always working on some kind of uh art related project. Be it video or writing or whatever, um, occasionally drawing. Well, thank you, Roxy Rays. Thank you. Supercharge. Hope things are going well for you as well. Now, always remember this level in particular. Because when I first played this game, well, okay, when I first was introduced to this game, I saw it in a commercial. And then I saw it, I got from a um, Spyro 2 from this Pizza Hut demo disc. Um, and after that, I was like, man, I want to have Spyro and see the whole thing. And so, because uh, I was like kind of scared and little, my mom and dad would play through the games. So I'd watch them play through it first before I ended up playing it myself. And I remember this part. Uh, scared the shit out of my mom because of the giant fucking spiders that 
are also completely invincible um, for right now, uh, unless you get a power up later in the level. Um, so, fun. I always think about that this level for that reason. Thank Reggie Filzame for the demo desk. Druids, they insist on moving <laughs> everything in sight. I consider playing the uh, uncensored Tomb Raider one through three, and first three Crystal Dynamics. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, you know, I uh, I've only I've only I've played through some of the original Tomb Raider. I I, I played. I played and beat the original Tomb Raider 2 back in the day, but I will admit, there is a series I've never really got fully into myself, um, but, you know, that's because at the time I was more into, like, colorful platformer cartoon character stuff, you know. Ass and taking names. Try combining supercharged with yeah. jumping and gliding. <laughs> I remember my dad bought me an uh, OG Xbox and a bunch of games from a swap meet around 2010. I only played mainly Spider Man and Sonic Heroes. Sadly, I never played Halo 2, which I had. I see. Interesting. I hate those bugs! It's one of the few consoles I never really had. It was an original um, Xbox. Um, I only ever briefly had an, an Xbox 360 um, for a bit. But I've always been more of a uh, Nintendo. Uh, sorry, uh, a PlayStation and Nintendo kid growing up. So I did get an Xbox 360, I did eventually play a little bit of Halo 3 and uh, Halo Reach. Love the speed ups or uh, supercharges in this game. Oh, you little fucker. videos on Crash Bandicoot Richard Cooter gave me inspiration for a special project of mine I am hoping to push myself to do with a team. Thank you very much for ins- Aww, well thank you so very much, 
for saying that, Wariyoshi. I'm glad that those videos inspired you to make something. That's always something I'm always very happy to hear. Um, so, that's awesome. I wish you luck on that. I hope that you're able to um, make your project. And, uh, you know, if you do it, when, if you do end up doing it, be sure to share it with me with one means or another. I'll, I'll give it a watch. I can kill these fucking spiders. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah, uh, damn. Were you a Dreamcast kid? Uh, no, I wasn't. I uh, I never had one of those. It was also, it was also like one of the ones I considered getting back in the day, um, but I never ended up getting one. Dylan, are there any game franchises for Nintendo you consider to be your favorite? Um, so definitely my favorite Nintendo franchise would be Star Fox. I love the Star Fox franchise. Um, my two favorites in the series being Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Adventures. Um, fucking love those games to death. Other than that, um... I suppose um, several of the older Mario games were quite fun. Um, Kirby's usually pretty fun from what I've played. Um, you know, um, uh, what else? Uh, I haven't played a ton of the Legend of Zelda games, to be perfectly honest. It's not really something that I like so super connect with, if I'm being completely honest. But the few I've played, I have liked. I like Wind Waker. I like Twilight Princess a lot. And I, uh, I like Ocarina of Time a fair bit, too. Learn to fly. Got it. So those, uh, you know, I do, I do like, um, some of those as well. Um, I guess those would be some examples. Um, don't you hate pants? Um... No. I kind of like pants, but you know. Wow, this is uh, quite a bit tighter than what I remember. Oh shit, alright. Try that again.
time. Star Fox 64 was one of the first games I ever played. Absolutely go to. Yeah, I agree. Star Fox 64 is fucking sick. Awesome. Great. Super awesome game. I mean, mean looking through the Star Fox franchise myself recently. I got a copy of Star Fox 64 3DS and 3DS. Haven't gotten around to playing it yet, though. Yeah, uh, Star Fox 64 is um, a really great game. Um, definitely recommend it. Um, if you're in like arcade like shooters and stuff and though it's like definitely considered the black sheep and not everyone's cup of tea um i absolutely love oh fuck i fucked that up absolutely love star fox adventures it's not really anything like star fox 64 but don't go in with, with the expectation that it is and um kind of just like appreciate it for what it is um, I think the atmosphere of Star Fox Adventures is fucking amazing. Super fucking, like, just sick. And overall, a very underrated game, in my personal opinion. So, yeah. Uh, sorry for like, uh, Shame Show 64 never got a good sequel that doesn't drastically change. Yeah, I do know what you mean. Um, I guess being fair, um, like, uh, Star Fox Zero definitely does get a little bit too much, like, way too much hate for what it is. Um, but at the same time, I get it. Narratively, it's kind of like just a remake of like Star Fox 64 and shit. Um, so it is a shame that it's like never like gotten something like just true blue to it. I guess the closest there is is probably Star Fox Assault, but it also has got pretty different gameplay. Um, but it's got some levels that are similar. 64, so. You know. Uh, well, I've been uh, taking it easy, been resting my body since I, uh, 
I leave absence, been working on a PC, tearing my closet into a mini studio, recording, been working. That's awesome, Roxy Ray. I'm glad that uh, you've been taking time for yourself and uh, doing all that. That's sick. I'm working on shit. Love the design of this level. So very pretty. I think you enjoy Adventure considering it was Welcome rare's last game for Nintendo. I mean, yeah, that's true. Supercharged spot. Use it to bash those. Uh, favorite Rockstar game? Uh. Hmm. Um. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh. I guess I did like Red Dead Redemption. Um. One. Um. Two was all pretty decent. Um. I remember enjoying Grand Theft Auto 4 a fair bit back in the day as well. I'll admit, and, uh, 5 and stuff. I will admit that, uh, Rockstar games are like, it's kind of like, it's kind of one of those things where I'm never that into actually beating them very often. I have, I usually will eventually, but, um, I, I like, Fucking around and causing mayhem in those games, but I'm less about like actually beating them. Um, if that makes any kind of sense. Oh fuck. Oh wait, you know what? Jesus, one over here. I guess while we're asking about that, chat, what's your favorite fucking game? Go. The, the best one ever, in your opinion. You can also stay, say kind of a little bit why. Look at this fucking bitch. Look at them. Laughing at me and shit. Fuck you. Stupid fucking bitch. Fucking Spyro the Dragon, you dumbass. Well, Thank okay, yeah, fair Witcher yeah, 3, nice. Uh, I still need to get around to playing The Witcher 3. I have heard lots of good things about it. Pin the tail on the donkey, fair enough. Um, Doom, 1993, yeah, good, good. Xenosaga's been on my mind today. Mm, yeah, Xenosaga's really good. Do, 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 do.
now. It's really hard. A lot of my favorite games. This is not a specific one. Probably Arkham Knight at the moment, mainly because of its gameplay. Yes, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Try jumping on the Sonic Mania, I haven't finished it completely, home. but I Waterfall. enjoy it for what Sounds it is. Good. Yeah, no, Sonic Mania is really good, really good. It's actually right there, uh, I'd actually say right there Redemption. Well, nice. Kingdom Hearts, I have always enjoyed the series since, uh, as a preteen. I grew up all the PlayStation since a child. Yeah, no, um, I am also a really big fan of Kingdom Hearts as well. I still haven't played every one of the games. I played like, um, uh, the f like first few and stuff, and then I know all the story of the other ones because I watched my uh, younger brother play them, who's a big fan of them. So I know everything about the story of those games and like what happens and shit. Yeah, those are really good games. Missing two fucking gems. Where are the? Hmm. Are we going to that last boss area? We gotta figure out where the fuck, where the fuck did I miss those two gems? Um. Uh, going on a little bit of a thing here. Each level been fucking missing something. But that's kind of the way it goes with Spiral sometimes, you know. Nothing there. Oh my god, it was right next to the fucking boss level. Oh, blind as a bat sometimes. It's okay. It's okay. I just wanted to show you this cool level again, you know? Just like go through it one more time, you know? See the cool architecture. Isn't it awesome? That's what, that's what I was doing. Not mindlessly looking for a gem, I just didn't fucking see. All right, third boss, let's go. Uh, there's too many to choose from, but I've been having a blast with Nintendo DS, uh, like Hotel Dusk and Ghost Frick. I've also been uh, playing Kirby Triple Deluxe, which uh, has been really wild. Well. Sick. Sounds pretty, pretty fucking fun time to me. I didn't want to say any Sonic game because I'm trying to broaden my taste. Well, that's fair enough, Cancer. What is your favorite Sonic game, though? You're allowed to say it. What's your favorite fucking Sonic game? It's alright. You're allowed to be a cringe Nene baby in the chat. I like Spyro too. I'm sorry, I like Sonic as well.
did you see, see the Fallout series on that? I did not, no. Um, I've heard people have lots of opinions about it. missing five gems oh my god this go is happening every fucking level No. Where the fuck? Where were it? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Fuck. I've never missed fucking a gem while playing this game. Of course, the one time, the one time I'm fucking live streaming the game, it's all the fucking sudden now, oh there it is. All right, let's fucking get out of here. What a, okay, cool. All right, let's see. Um, uh, does your younger brother have a favorite King of Hearts character? Mine's Kyrie and so. Um, I think his favorite character is always, like, Sora, for the most part. Um, and, um, uh, Axel as well. Alright, all fourth fucking world. We are, we're making progress. Boys and girls, it's time to go to the fucking swamps of Louisiana. Or Beastmakers, as it's called in this game. Um... Sparks tying gems from you. He is! Bitch is like fucking... Slacking on the job, man. Fucking pick up the gem. It's alright. Over the years, uh... I've started Master games North and franchised with Sonic mainly after either junkie. some of the uh, old 3D games so or the modern cool. ones, but I think my favorite might be uh, Sonic Hedgehog 3 or Sonic Mania. That's fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, go ahead and you say Mania, Adventure 1, uh, Gen uh, Generations and Sonic 2 are my favorite Sonic games. Kind of basic, but they're a kind of fair reason. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. Pretty good picks from the both of you. really like this world because it's like got a it's got that combination of like old tribal swampy shit right but then the bad guys here are like using technology and stuff it's very cool 
Also, I like the net, the sound that the fucking guys make when I hit them. You know, fucking ah! Very funny. Very nice noise. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Almost all these dragons are voiced by Clancy Watch Brown. Out, Spyro. It's true, yeah. The orcs in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Ooh, fuck. I didn't expect these guys. Man. He is fucking. This is a weird ass chicken, by the way. I figured I'd note that. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Uh, games, it's all three of the original trilogy, but just so, so very satisfying to collect gems in. It's a sort of zen space my brain goes into after a while doing it. It's just like, yeah, go, 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 go. I think it's why I kind of enjoy watching speedruns of this game in particular. Um, it's kind of, it is just basically speed running collecting gems at the end of the day. Um, and, uh, there's something kind of therapeutic about this game anyway. Um, so, sort of like that, but faster. Uh, In case you're wondering also, I know some of you asked this like last time or during other live streams, but there will eventually be a Spyro retrospective on the channel as well. It's always been in the works, you know, plan. But I wanted to do Crash first because uh, I feel like they're very good contrast to one another. Um, Oh yeah, yep, fucking already. We're, we're getting, we're breezing through the game. We'll be, we'll be done here, here soon. Um, and, what? Missing gems. Fuck, no. Okay, but uh, let's see. Um, I think I might know where they are. Do, 
No, okay. I don't think I was super thorough over here. Or maybe I was. Hmm. Oh, nope, I was not. There we go. These fucking big ass pigs. Agreed, it is really fucking good, War Yoshi. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. Oh shit, I didn't do that. Who all years actually played through like most of the Sparrow games? And uh, if you have, what's your favorite? And uh, what's your uh, what are you looking for for this potential Spyro Four? Personally, um, I think of the original trilogy, Sparrow 2 is probably my favorite. Um, but it is one of those trilogies that I legitimately um, love every entry 
in it. Um, and do not think there is a weak part of it, to be honest, so. Look out for a 4 will be amazing with both cold, old and new stuff in it. Killers. Attack. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. And this used to be yeah, such a nice swamp. Spar 2 is my favorite for sure. I'm kind of okay with them uh, doing anything, but would like to avoid anything like the Legend of Sparrow trilogy. Yeah, no, true. Um, I think the Legend of Sparrow games are definitely overall in this step for the franchise. Considered playing Tomb Raider franchise, and though I, I I have played the 2013 remake of Tomb Raider, uh, yeah. um, like I said, I've played through the the second game before. Um, shit. Well, at least I got through that, not dying. Um. Thanks for releasing But me. maybe. It seems like I've been it's not, here it's not a series that I'm like, I've ever been very like passionate Why? about or anything. I remember. Uh, gotta go. But, um, you know. From the bit I've played, it was, um, it was a decent time overall. Oh, okay, well that's okay. I think it's Sparks anyway, that was being annoying. Um, for those who aren't aware, if you don't, Sparks, uh, if the, uh, if you ever, like, if you, like, run out of Sparks, then you have to collect the gems by yourself instead of him, like, collecting them for you. And, uh, yeah, it's a lot, a lot more tedious that way. The game really, uh, gets you to appreciate Sparks in that regard, I suppose. It's also pretty funny in the few times I've seen it happen in a speedrun, because basically it means they're just like fucked for a while. Or fucked for the run. Thank you for releasing me. Crash 5 ends up happening. My big hope is that they reintroduce Crunch and make him a genuine threat. It was such a cool idea for Antagonist that wasn't done justice in Rocket Vortex. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. How about charge them and flame them? We are. I actually played through the whole entire first Ritual Spyro game that came on PS1. Second, third one I got somewhat close to the end. The stories uh, are great and addictive to play. Yeah, no, I agree.
Oh, okay. Fair Mary, go get those. playing as well. Yeah, I would definitely uh, play through the remastered uh, Spar on Crash games. They are quite good. Where am I missing this to? Xbox uh, now owns Crash and Spyro, however, most uh, their franchises they own, nothing will come of it. Uh, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of interesting. As of right now, um, Toys for Bob is, like, working with Microsoft directly now. So it seems like there is, like, a new Spyro and or Crash related thing coming out at the moment, um, being developed, so... But normally, yes, I would uh, agree. And as a matter of fact, because Toys for Bob are who they are, I guess, um, it's actually a chance uh, they may do a remake of um, Banjo-Kazooie as well. Either a remake or a sequel or fucking whatever. Did I just, like, completely miss this fucking frog before? That's wild. I swear I killed that guy. Alright. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see. I think Bob Maxwell didn't go through the first thing second. Yeah. That'd be pretty weird. Uh. If Banjo gets remastered, I'm playing it. Yes, fair enough. Derpy, uh, hello! Derpy... Tharsis, you have my attention. But yeah, there's a possibility of that now. Because Toys for Bob are like independent, but are like working directly for Microsoft now, rather than being under Activision, where they had to like constantly like go between working on Spyro and Crash shit, while at the same time working on like fucking Call of Duty shit. Now they don't gotta do that. They can just work on the actual series that matter.
Greetings, Sparrow. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. <sighs> so it's kind of infamous um, for being uh, like this. I say infamous, but it's just like very hard to complete for many on like their first playthrough. Um, but um, it's nonetheless a very uh, interesting level. Really takes advantage of the Spyro. platforming if you style the of Spyro in particular. Ramp, you can really go far. I always find these fucking enemies to be very strange. They're like weird monkeys and they attack you with like... I guess they're feet or whatever. They're like feet almost seem to inflate or something. Oh wait, it started me here. Oh man, it's not what I wanted. Oh well. Get this. Sparrow moves uh, is used in every level of brain level design. Yeah, no, I agree. Nowadays, Blizzard and Activision are intertwined in developer, marriage, and Overwatch. Well, let's, let's just say, I guess. I yeah, know, it's uh.
definitely interesting state of things. I haven't really, um, I used to play Overwatch a fair bit, um, actually, but, um, I must admit, I haven't really played it a whole lot since then, um, uh, mostly just because I've been very, uh, busy with my own, like, I guess creative pro- oh fuck, fuck that one up. Um, creative projects and stuff, and, uh, the thing about online games is though they're very fun, very addicting, and there's several that I have really come to enjoy, um, they do- oh, fuck. Um, they do require a lot of time from you, um, they do demand a lot of your, your spare time, and, uh, you know, that's fair enough, but, uh, <sighs> fuck, I keep missing that. Um, like I said, you got, like, a book full of, full of, like, 500 video ideas and, like, a, some, like, uh, there we go. Um. You know, novel ideas and shit like that, it, uh, makes dead game time to those games a, ride, a lot more difficult. Learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found But you're the kind of guy to cartoonishly stuff. have their head sink, um, when bonked with a comically sized wooden mallet. Is that the case? Is that the case, Fruba? Well, you're right. I'm a fucking cartoon character. And whenever you like bonk my head, I get I fucking squish. I go fucking. You're right. You're right on the fucking money with that one. Would you buy the infamous Spyro Skull from Etsy? I'm not familiar with uh, what you're talking about there, but um, I'm gonna go with maybe. I don't know exactly what that is. If it's just like a replica of Spyro's head, but a skull, I guess so. Doesn't seem like. So it's like kind of cool, I guess.
guess for a while we're on the topic. Uh, what would you guys say is the stupidest thing you've ever bought? You know? Like, for one reason or another. It's just like, you bought this thing and you just felt, and like, it didn't take long for you to feel like a total fucking dumbass very shortly after getting it. Okay, fair enough, yeah. I might consider it then, I guess. I'm not sure. Why is it infamous, can I ask? Why is it infamous? Because if it's just that, I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, but if it's infamous, it sounds like there's some history um, involved in it. Yeah, for me, online games is easy, uh, it's easy to just come out, uh, you know, mainly because it's a casual with them, but any game that's, that's a RPG or long game, I tend to not have the time to play with. See, it's funny, if, I, I'm, I can, like, dedicate the time to play a RPG because it has, like, an ending, right? So I can work towards finishing the game. With online games, they don't have an ending. Um, but I do, I do see what you mean, though. Technically, you could spend a lot... You could play an online game and spend a lot less time than, like, say... You know, 100-hour fucking RPG or something. So I do get what you mean. It might just be... Uh, a me thing more than anything. Um, I still do play some online games, mind you. Um, just, I don't dedicate as much time as I once did to them, because uh, it's, um, it's difficult to manage time in that case. This big robot is Bottled more water. To meet you. I see, you for powerful, Super N64, though, my mom bought it. I should have just told my mom to return it and get the money back. Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah, fair enough. Also, check this fucking, like, boss out. This fucking robot. Look at this dude. Guess you haven't noticed, the bosses of this game are, um... They're not quite as flashy as, uh... The, uh... The bosses that come in Spyro, uh, 2 and 3. Which are, like, more full-on things. Bosses in this game are kind of, like... Just very minor obstacles, really. Little set pieces. Um... It's probably the weakest part of the first game overall. Though, I don't actually consider it, like, um, I don't think it, like, deters from the game at all. It's just, uh, definitely its weakest aspect in comparison to the other, uh, games in the trilogy. Second trauma center, we. I don't own a we. I see. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I'd say that, that sounds about right. Um. Yeah, that robot is cool. He is cool. He's got like a mohawk. 
that's a detail I don't think people notice enough about him. I like... He's a robot with a mohawk. A rohawk, if you will. Pretty cool. Uh, all the bosses in this game just run away from... They do, because they're scared. Because they're little bitches, and Spyro is a fucking, like, Giga Chad dragon that, like, fucking puts them in their place. That's why doesn't take till the second game from the meet somebody that uh, some some guys that are like willing to fight back boss wise on the Dreamweaver is my favorite world in the game we're almost done ladies and gentlemen we're almost finished with the game um do you, do you play Minecraft? Do I play Do I play Minecraft? What Minecraft? Do I play Minecraft? Uh, no, I don't play whole, uh, Minecraft really. I used to play Minecraft. I don't have anything against it, mind you. Um, but um, I used to play Minecraft some. Um, weirdly enough, back when I had an Xbox 360, I played it on there. And I do own it on PC. Um. But, um, I've uh, admittingly not really played it almost like at all. So. But it was kind of fun. You know, I got my fun out of Minecraft, I feel. It was pretty fun while I, back when I did play it. Just haven't felt the need to come back to it since then. Hey, Dylan, uh, been a while, but uh, would you uh, ever play Skylanders since it's the worst Sprawl game ever? Well, you know, um... I definitely will be when I eventually get to a Spyro retrospective. So, I guess whether I like it or not, I will be playing it. So yeah, yeah, I definitely will. Also, this is my favorite level in the game. I'm gonna show you, so like, number one. All right, so you got these little stupid dorks, right? You can turn into the lamps. But look at this, this atmosphere, right? We're in fucking like purple space or something. This fucking sick guitar is going on throughout this level. Just taking like, look at the, look at that fight. Where are we right now? I guess so. Like Dream Weavers, the theme here is about like dreams, right? And this level seems to like be all about like yeah, representing like nightmares and shit it's very cool i'd rather blame the fools now you're thinking uh some games like sunset overdrive but it was seven dollars uh on the microsoft store i can't remember the time i bought something worthless well seventy dollars while buying something at store owns. yeah that was fair so i got these stupid little devil Fuckers. Look at that. Look at this guy. So I got those weird fucking demon dogs. Hellhounds, if you will. And in the darkness, they are like powerful. And in the light, they turn to little bitches again. Did you ever see the last? Did you see the last AVGM video? Uh, no, I haven't seen a lot of the newer AVGM videos, admittingly. Thank you for releasing me. I've heard some people say that a lot of them are a lot better now, um, so that's super cool. But yeah, I haven't really, to be perfectly honest. Oh, this fucker. Whoa!
good luck. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Pepperon. Yeah, no, I, uh, I'll be needing it when I get to that one. Cool world, I agree. Mario you know, very cool world. Also, if you get to the to final boss, um, That's me, all right. you should do, uh, you should do a no dashing rule on yourself. No dashing. You don't want me to run towards the boss? I mean, I could try to do that. Um, I think it is technically beatable without doing it. Oh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I remember to do it, I'll try. You haven't... No, so I do tend to... charge a lot while playing the game. Just find it... fun to do. You can't... you can't just, like, walk around like this, you know? Like, frolic about. You know? It's pretty nice, but I like to... possible to do the final boss without running? Nope. Um, I will try one single attempt at doing without running when we get there. Just for the fuck of it. This means we get to spend more time with Nasty Nork at the end of the day. Um, whenever someone brings up AVGM, they always bring up the fact that he's balding, which I can't uh, make fun of because nobody can prevent it from... Yeah, no, it is true. That's why I never ever, in my retrospective, I never brought up that aspect because... I mean, it's like, what are you gonna fucking do? People bald can't really help that it's not really a it's not really a criticism it's just kind of being a prick at the end of the day uh so yeah i mean i get it people are just kind of like poking fun and shit so it's it's fine but for the sake of the video i, I didn't really bring it up because i didn't find it uh Spyro. Particularly I'd love to help you catch nasty, but I'd really hate being trapped in crystal again. Don't worry. The only one who's gonna be trapped is him. You play siphon filter in the PS1? Uh no, I have not. Play AVGN intro on his bald head like a meat from <laughs> Oh my god, holy shit! Wow, I've never died that way. That's actually kinda cool to be honest, but I was gonna say though, I really like this this room. Check out, so like, look at this, right? You got like purple ooze, purple lighting. And you got these like little bits of natural light. All the lighting in this game was like done like personally, right? It's like not, it's no in-engine shit. It was all like handcrafted. So it has a very distinct atmosphere. That is one of the things that the Reignited Trilogy unfortunately really couldn't get right because uh, it just like, uh, it, it has like a, you know, an, a, a more engine based lighting system and though it does like look still pretty good and it did a valiant effort, there is just something about the look of this that's hard to Thank you for releasing me. quite match. Girls are kicking your ass this time around. Yeah, it's true. Yo, sorry I missed most of the stream, but what's good, Lord Dylan? Oh, thank you, uh, Sword. Uh, I'm just uh, chilling today, playing a little bit of Spyro. We're, we're we're almost done with the game at this point. Just a few more levels, but um. You know, 
you all the same for stopping by, man. Um... Every de detail they put here is awesome to see. Yeah, no, I agree. It's a game filled with brimming with uh, character. Okay, we're done with that level. So yeah, fucking Dark Passage, awesome level. Love Spyro. Um, Enter the Dragonfly was a blast as a kid. Interesting take on that. Uh, glad you enjoyed it. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. I also like the dragons in this world have little horns on their noses. Have a cute little detail. Alright, now this is Lofty Castle. Oftentimes, many people consider to be their favorite level. It's also one of my favorites. That was the only one I had, so it was my first experience and I played a ton with my brother, so that helped. Well, that's fair enough. Um, But as far as respect, it will be very interesting to watch. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Water Yoshi. Yeah, no, it's, um, I have a lot of thoughts on the series, um, and, uh, but going into too many, like, spoilery details, I have, it's both gonna be, like, look at the, like, we're gonna be, like, taking a super deep dive into it, like, to such to such a a level that I I, I mean I, I just gotta be real. It's gonna be like autistic levels of fucking like uh, detail because these these games mean a lot to me um, and I want to give them the time they deserve. Um, there's certain there's always like and as always. There's always something that I feel has not been said with like many of the games and things that I enjoy, um, and so I, I, I hope to, uh, you know, showcase that. A kind of cool thing here. You might notice these. They call them spring chests, where they, you know, you like, you know, blow and fucking grab the gem. This red one. This suit. This pretty little red one. It's the only one of it uh, like it in the whole game. It's for some reason, they waited till like near the very end of the game to have one. And this is it. So pretty cool. Now it's gone. Which you say you prefer though, Crash or Spyro? Spyro? Um, so it depends on my mood. I honestly, legitimately, um, Spyro. Spyro will always be my personal favorite. Um, I, uh, 
just have a stronger connection with it overall. That's not to say I don't love Crash Bandicoot as well. It is also very deeply connected with it. Um, obviously, with the retrospective I've been giving to it, I think that's fairly obvious. Um, but, um, Spyro is actually my, uh, favorite, um, of the two, so, yeah. And I suppose I'll eventually have some videos explaining why that is. So, it is, comparing the two is a bit, you know, hard to do, because, um, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, they're, they're two very, they, they're two very different types of 3D platformers with two very different goals in mind, um, so it, it is hard to compare them at times. Uh, let me see. Hey Dylan, what other games are you playing on playing in the future, like uh, on a live stream? Well, anything's on the the uh, table. Obviously, the other Spyros and some Crash games. Ah, Spyro, um, thanks. It's like Super Hooper sort of thing, but also um, indie See games, like indie horror games and things like that I plan on playing. Um, there's some that I, there's some like little events I have planned, like um, I have a idea to do like a, a little thing where I just play like a bunch of, um, Jeff, the, oh fuck, I fucked that up. Um, a bunch of like Jeff the Killer games. Um, and shit like that, because I'm also very much into, like, indie horror games and the like. Um, so, we'll probably be doing some stuff like that in the future. Wow, that just, just barely got that. Um, besides games, though, we won't just be doing games for live streams. The games are more for chill streams, that sort of thing, you know? Um, it's for kind of chilling out and, uh, casually going through something. Um, but I do plan on having some more structured live streams in the future. Thank you for releasing me. Um, where we'll be kind of doing like a live dumpster dive. If you're familiar with my um, dumpster dive uh, series I've recently started, where I like look at a bunch of like weird, random uh, videos on YouTube. Sometimes with a theme, sometimes not. We're basically going to be doing some live showcases of that. Um, where I'll... Uh, have a few curated um, videos to show you guys and maybe some viewer requested stuff within reason within reason um, for those as well um, so you can kind of look forward to those like YouTube dumpster dive lives in the future as well Doing Crash Purple and saw it, or the same video by Stick Me. Um. So when I get to the parts about when I get to talking about the Crash spin-off games, it'll be all in one video. But no, I will keep the Spyro thing separate for the own its own Spyro thing, even though they are pretty similar games. Just for the sake of you know whatever. But I won't be talking about either game for a particularly long t uh, time. Uh, I don't feel as though they 
require as much discussion. But still. Uh, sound, that sounds pretty fun. Well, thank you, Roxy Rays. Yeah. This should be lots of fun to do. A live dumpster dive. Let's go. Yeah. Be good shit. Sounds like you got a lot of exciting stuff planned. No, for sure. I definitely do. Um. Definitely looking forward to uh, more live streams with you guys in general, both uh, game and live dumpster dive stuff wise. Look at this fucking stupid bitch screaming. Dumbass. stuck 10 times when I played Spyro. Really? You, uh, couldn't find enough gems or whatever? Or get stuck on, like, a level or something? video games. Okay, well, I mean, fair enough, TJ. Suck at video games? <laughs> Can't relate. Sorry. games are those, TJ? Which ones have you played? I was able to beat New Super Mario Bros. Awesome! I started with the Star Row and Trent Cloud yesterday. Slightly below average. Well, personally, I think I'm amazing at video games. A god amongst men, you could even say. So...
the fuck did I miss that gem there last time? Why? Get back over. Proper Hello, Spyro. Nice to be done. PS4. Be done and all I games I've beaten are on more. it. I think the games for Undertale, Crash 4, and Ratchet and Clank remake. Well, I mean, Crash 4 is a hard game. It's a harder game. You know. So I mean, come on. Don't beat yourself up too badly. See, you're all actually pretty good at video games. Maybe even great. But because, but see, you're afraid to have the confidence to just say, I am a god amongst men, and you are all pathetic compared to me. You're all actually very good. You just, you just lack, you lack the confidence to say the truth. So, I'm telling you now, just, just be honest. Just tell me, just just tell everyone in the chat that you're a fucking god and that, you know, you should be respected, worshipped even, for your accomplishments in video game land. Gonna beat Sans and Genocide Run. I can't. I just fully beat Year of the Dragon a couple days ago. Well, sick Dark Hunter one. Like these fucking night guys take off their helmet to hit you. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a god of NS MBDS. Respect that. Yeah, fair enough. Night season. You sound like smug rival with a deep dark backstory in a world where everyone is hyper fixated on children's school franchise. Yeah. Perhaps. Basically, Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, pretty cool. Hey, Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in the fairies' kiss. See I don't play Spyro. You, well, I should you should. I rec definitely recommend it, TJ.
Ray, next time if someone asks you if you're a god, say yes. Yes, exactly. Remember, I've beaten six games, not three. I forgot I beat Crash One in my Odyssey. Fair enough. Juicy ass gems. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, does anyone have any thoughts on any of the Wario games? Um, I ha uh, the Wario ga Wear games are pretty fun at times. Um, I like those a fair bit, I suppose. Um, Wario Lands was pretty fun. Um, from what I remember, it's been years since I played those, but I remember having fun with them. Oh, fuck! Oh, I fucked up. Into the fucking pit I go. Instantly charged again while I'm mid flight. are pretty fun. I remember playing them with my siblings a fair bit back in the day, the GameCube one in particular.
fuck, am I missing shit? No, I'm not. Thank goodness. Alright, one more level in three weavers, and we'll be on to the final world of the game. Ooh, yeah, the Ginkyu one is my favorite warrior. Yeah, no, that one's super duper fun. Um, really love playing that one with my siblings back in the day. Good shit. Yeah, yes, we're our journey is almost done today. Aw, oh, fuck. All right. Fucking bitch. All right. On to Jacques, also known as the character who, on the DeviantArt Iceberg, someone was so obsessed with the boss character of this level that they dedicated 10 years of their life, in fact, I think it's actually more now, to drawing fetish porn of said character and their self-insert of uh, being in love with them and eventually evolving into drawing cuck porn of said character uh, with them. Just like, figured I'd let you all know that. All right, now onto the level. You should do a magical girl transformation sequence and actually turn into an owl on stream. You're right. Um, see, I actually can do that, but I've just, I'm just holding out on you guys right now. It's gotta be for a special occasion for me to fucking, you know, have my magical girl transformation into an owl. It was like these, I thought these creatures were so strange. They got little flowers. They only appear in this one level and they're so bizarre. Also this level is fucking really cool. Look. Look at the fucking, look at the fucking, look at this shit. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at this fucking hellscape. Astounding. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Also, these guys are really cool, too. They got metal shirts. Get this guy anyway. For releasing me. I heard a story of Jock acting on it, yeah. Oh jeez, didn't need to be reminded of that, Dylan. Yeah. To say, I still haven't finished the DA Supercut because of the god awful cringe. Fair enough, yeah. It's, uh. It is a. It's a lot to get through. But! Very beautiful detail. I agree. It's a model world. What do you think about the Cave of Wonders for some reason? Yeah, I can see that.
Ah, oh, fuck. Into the red abyss of hell. Shit. I, okay, I think I got to, like, do it from that one guy's thingy. That's fair enough. Or do I... Uh... There we go. Probably you know what you want. Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. The human urge, the manly urge to jump straight in the fucking lava and burn a slow, painful death. Okay. Any advice before this battle? Advice. A wise dragon once told me, aim high in life, but watch out for flying boxes. Uh-huh. All right, and here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jacques. Look at him. Isn't he, isn't he sexy? Keep your, uh... You know, try to keep yourself fucking... Look at him. He throws boxes at you. He's 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 a green goblin guy. He's he's his he's a spring. He's he's the whole fucking package, really. If you think about it. And now he's dead forever. All right. Spring Gussy. Yeah. He's so handsome. Yeah, I agree, but meat. Butter meat, rather. Um, whatever, I'm at work. I tend to either uh, uh, put on either long video essays or only plays compilations in the background noise. But for some reason, I'm reluctant to put uh, your videos on during work. Interesting. That's interesting because usually people tend to tell me they put my videos on during work. Um, but, you know, uh, that's fair enough, man. If you like want to dedicate your time to like actually watching them and stuff, I... Not gonna complain about that. You do you. Love or hate it, this is perfection. Forgive me, yes. Nice shot. He was 15, loved to play the piano. Yeah, that's. That was shot. We are now officially in the final world Nasty's Nexus, also known as the fucking Dragon Ghetto. So, we got like, um. We got just a few more levels to go. This is where we get to finally guess, put an end to fucking nasty Nork and his minions and shit. Hey, 
Like you know slaying a clown, you? Ryan Gosling. World now, Spyro, Truly. And you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Question, Dylan. Uh, so when the... When do you first discover doing icebergs, and what is your iceberg video you've uh, done? Uh, and, what, and what is your iceberg video you've done, and what uh, iceberg video which you plan on doing? Um, so I first discovered iceberg videos through like how most people did, which is the Mario 64 iceberg. Um, back in the day, that was like the first one that got really popular. I remember thinking at the time, it's like, oh, that's actually a really cool concept. Um, that would be, like, super cool if, like, other things besides Mario 64 got that. So then I, like, looked into it, and I found out there's a subreddit for it. And then I saw that there was this big fucking video. I'm sorry, big video, this big iceberg called the Conspiracy Theory Iceberg. And I remember thinking, holy shit, I, this is, like, crazy. I wonder if anyone's, like, attempted to cover that through a video. And lo and behold, I find Windy Goon. And Windy Goon, at that point in time, now this is going to sound crazy, Windy Goon had around 300 to 400 subscribers when I first discovered him. And he only had, a, he only had, like, a few um, of the entries for the for the iceberg uh, out at the time, but when I saw that, I was like, you know, this this actually seems like a pretty cool concept for like a type of video. You can cover like a lot of stuff one area. So when I saw that, I was like, well, that seems like a lot of fun. So at that point, so I'm like, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube and shit. I figured, why not do the YouTube iceberg? And that's how I started. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were here. Um, and then after that, it's just like, it kind of like, came at one after the other after the other, you know? Like, I was really passionate about creepy bosses and stuff, so I thought, well, I gotta do that. And, um... Ended up doing like a backrooms one because that was like really interesting at the time. Um, but yeah, it's kind of how I discovered it, I suppose, and how I ended up uh, getting into doing those. Pulling up to the Dragon Ghetto, where my thugs at? Yeah, exactly. I might just not be top two over uh, there. And yeah, that's little fair little enough. Dragon. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, well, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> I remember the first video I watched. Uh, you is the YouTube iceberg. Thanks to Luigi Kid's videos on you. Both you and Luigi Kid are good chats. Well, thank you. And yeah, no, I uh, I'm always very thankful to 
uh, like the Luigi Kid was really cool in uh, showcasing like my Grief Boss Iceberg and stuff at the time to his audience. It's really nice. Very, very cool guy. Um, but yeah, I, know, I think uh, most people. That's like that's where my channel really blew up. Essentially, was the YouTube iceberg. Um, and I'm glad for that. Uh, very fun format to do. So. Funny, I think, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, I think I was supposed to use a key on that thing over there, but the TNT hit it at the right time, so that's very interesting. Gotta go to the last level before we face off against Nasty Nork. Uh, let's see. Oh, cool. I only first heard of it when Mudohar and some of our gamers did one for yeah, the deep web, and recently that Creep Reading did uh, only three parts of Serving Game Iceberg. Yeah, I believe. Uh, yeah, perhaps I forgot to. Do you call yourself an owl because you're nocturnal? Uh, I mean, yes. My, I am pretty nocturnal most of the time, so that is like part of it. It's like a, it's like a play on things, right? Like on one end, I'm like a bit of a night owl. I am pretty nocturnal most of the time. Um, but also, um, I do just like owls, like they're my favorite type of bird, and I also just really like birds, so that kind of like goes hand in hand. And then on top of that, um, uh, I also like knights and like knight armor and like fantasy type shit like that, um, so... Well, not just fan well, fantasy, and I should say like like actual like medieval uh, armor and what have you. So like they just it's just all like it's a multi-meaning name, symbolic of me in various ways. You could say. Oh shit! I got fucking gap. Wow. Holy shit. Well, that's okay. Um, I guess you get to see how fucking quickly you can die to, uh... Those fucking guns in this level. I'm not fucking around. But yeah, I actually... I just wanted to, like, stop for a minute to show off his gun thing. I guess I can show this guy instead. But yeah, they, 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 they got guns now. For the last level, Nasty Narc's like... Alright, fuck it. We gotta kill this stupid fucking dragon. Everyone's gonna get a fucking gun now. Kill his ass. Thank you for releasing me. 
he is an owl. Yeah, I am an owl. This is multi-million dollar franchise name, Al PM. Yeah, you're right. This is my... The key to my success. You see. Thank you, Wario. I'm glad you like my nickname. They better be on the lookout for me. Owls are awesome. Uh, hey Don. Uh, birds. Yeah, fucking owls are sick. My favorite type of owl is the great horned owl. Cause they look the most cool and expressive. They always look kind of like tired in a way with their eyes. Snow owls are beautiful, but I'm also a partial. Yeah, snow owls are also very pretty. I'm glad I changed my old username to Cancer. Yeah, Cancer is very distinct. It, I do always remember you whenever I see you with that uh, Tales Get Trolled avatar. It's very iconic to me in my brain at this point, Cancer. So, Seeing the orcs with guns is replaced with uh, paint guns in the Reunited Trilogy. Oh yeah, that is a thing they did. They like made it like a toxic goo in uh, the Reignited Trilogy, which I personally found to be quite, um, lame. Oh yeah, barn owls are also super fucking cool. I love the way that they look. I almost have like a bit of a a creepy look to their the way their eyes are. Very, very distinct, very cool looking. Hey, Frank, though, I like all owls, so I uh. Like I, little pig meows as well, little tiny cute ones. Saw one of those recently at a visit to the zoo. Very nice. to fucking face nasty nork ganasty gonork the bitch the one the only like owls too uh, yes i'll enjoy your, your fit what uh what's your take on args i saw one uh, some of the ARGs are pretty cool. Um, I'll enjoy it tonight. Yes, I agree. Some of, some of the ARGs are pretty cool. Some of them are kind of stupid, but I kind of do, I do, I do find many of them to be kind of like, if nothing else, kind of interesting. 
Um, even the kind of bad ones I find to be sort of interesting. But that's just because anything horror related, I'm kind of a bit of a I'm kind of a bit of a slut for. I'm gonna be real. I like I like good horror, but you know what? I'm just gonna be real with you. I also kind of like bad horror. You know, I kind of like shit that's like horror. Because the thing about horror, what makes it so universal, what makes it so good, okay, is that at its best, it's like a master crafted piece of art, right? And at its worst, it's the funniest shit ever. The funniest, most comfy ass, stupid shit imaginable. So in that regard, horror truly is universal in my mind. Also, the soundtrack for this place is fucking sick. I think I missed a gem back here, so make sure I get that shit. Did I miss a gem? Guess I didn't. Oh well, well that's okay. Oh yeah, I said I would try to do this like without running. Um, well, I have to do this without running anyway at least once to get all the gems. But yeah, you can't beat it without running. Clockwork from Sly Cooper, obviously, is a bit... Oh, I love Clockwork from Sly Cooper. Clockwork is one of my favorite video game villains ever. Because he's just a hateful fucking bitch. He's a robot owl, which is cool. But he is literally... He, he literally is immortal. Because he just hates that fucking much. Can you imagine that you hate something... You hate somebody so fucking much... That your sheer hatred keeps you alive. That's fucking sick. Also, yeah, this is the boss. Nasty just kind of fucking runs away because he's a stupid little bitch. Such is, uh, you know, such is life. Kind of a little, admittingly, a little anticlimactic in that regard. It's not an actual fight, but. <gasps> oh! Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, no! Well, you know, I had a feeling that was gonna happen, I just felt it in my bones. That I was going to die, so that's okay. We'll just we'll just we'll just do this one more fucking time, you know. I I did that on purpose actually. I did that completely on purpose. There is like that was what I wanted, okay. Oh shit. So I wanted to like show off this level again, you know. Alright, but for real now, let's fucking... Let's get him! Let's go! But yeah, it's a bit anticlimactic in that regard. That it's not an actual fight. Again, this that is the weakest part of the first Sparrow game. Is that there isn't really any, like, real... Bosses. Um... But I think the sequels more than make up for that, for having some great bosses.
shit. Hopefully we can avoid any more dumbass mistakes now. Alright, and that is Nasty York B. Uh where do you separate uh your real your reality from ARG. Woo, I like Sorry, shit too. So yes, shit's I'm awesome. That's so real of you, what Dylan. Yes, thank you. I, I I'm glad that you guys Nasty also like shitty horror. His toast. So now there's this brings up order again the LC emulator. The game well, uh, in it itself is a pure ARG. What will you do in front next? of its trippy too. Yeah, uh, Elstree you know, definitely is very interesting. Um. We're gonna. Oh, I guess we can't skip the credits. Well, that's fine. Uh, we still got one more level actually before. We're not. We're not a hundred percent done yet. This is GG, but we have one more level because we actually completed the game hundred percent. So there's one more level we get to do as a victory lap. Um, li literally thriving off hatred. Yes, this reminds me. I ended up watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 yesterday and the disturbing theme aside, it's one of the silliest movies I've ever seen. So yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my favorite fucking horror movies ever. Um I love Chop Top so fucking much. So fucking funny. Iconic motherfucker. Um uh, if you had the possibility to appear in an upcoming horror movie, would you do it? Yeah, for sure. I would definitely do that. What was uh what was the deal of Spyro game for the PS2 where it goes all edgy? Uh, that's the Legend of Spyro trilogy, and I'll talk about those when I get to like the retrospective on it and stuff, but in short, in my opinion, they're kind of shit. So sick, so sick of villain's character. Use props to Sly Cooper. Yeah, exactly. Clockwork is fucking amazing. Ha, sucks to suck, uh, Kid get good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to get the keys again. Try. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, even though I miss most of it, good work. Yay. Nasty treasure. Oh, yeah, I think. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed seeing the tail end of it as well. Um, like I said, Sparrow is such a super fun, nostalgic game for me. And it's always. Um, a real treat going through it again. Um, brings back a lot of good memories. And, um, yeah, I, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be playing the second and third one. Um, via stream here eventually too. Um, they're a little bit longer and take longer to beat. But, uh, you know, they're still, at the end of the day, pretty easy to get through. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few Norks, but no sheep. Yes. So let's get the last dragon. Magnus. Nasty ancient history now. So what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Yeah, that's right, bitch. We're already at 100%. Nasty's loot. Let's fucking go. Last level, everybody. Um, But I just, I do want to just, while I'm fucking doing this, make sure to thank you all for uh, coming to the stream. It's been a lot of fun today. Um... I enjoyed it quite a fair bit. So the cool gimmick about this last level is you get to actually fly. 
anywhere you want. So, about like a limit. Swaggity swag. Yes, I agree. We're living life large at the moment, you know. Being so interesting. Well, uh, I'm very happy to have, uh, had you here, Water Yoshi. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that I, uh, very, like, brings a smile to my face to know that, um, some of my stuff inspired you, so I look forward to seeing, um, what, uh, you and your team end up coming up with. Oh, I forgot he, like, resets his fucking position. Annoying. Fucking bitch, come on. Get over here, you little. Little piece of shit. There we go. Got him.
Jack and Daxter only played uh, two, never played three, which they did remaster. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Jack and Daxter games are quite fun. Aw, oh, yeah, look at that shit. All those juicy fucking purple gems. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that is game complete. Hell yeah. Pyro the dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork. Spyro's collected got some cool shades egg, now for it. Saved all the dragons and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they Thank say. you, Luigi Chan, and Every thank you, Cancer. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That's me, thanks, Ellen. And I felt that Nasty well, thank you, hey on Puds. Was a worthy opponent. Uh -oh. I'm glad you enjoyed the, glad you guys enjoyed again. the stream. We'll be, I'll be doing another stream at the end of the month. There'll be a video that comes out before then, of course. So I'll see you guys at the premiere, possibly, if you end up going there. Um, so yeah, we'll be doing more content very soon. Uh, at least two more things before the this month is over. Another video, another stream. Good vibes, my guy. Nice job. Thank you, Sword. Thank you so much. On stream. Well, thank you, Roxy Rays. Thank you. Definitely, it was a lot of fun. Very chill vibes overall. Um, had a lot of fun going through this again and uh, chatting with you all. Um, I hope that you all have a very lovely rest of the evening slash whatever time it is for you. And. Um, Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Have a have a moist day, and fellow greasy faceless entities in the chat. <laughs> yes. I concur. Suppose um, before I end the stream, if you guys have any last minute questions or any last little minute little things, let me know. Um, now's the time, and then after that, you can go ahead and sign off for now. We're all big chungus at the end of the day. I suppose that is true, Cancer. That is true. UST for Spire goes so hard. I agree. It really fucking does. Lei Chan, uh, Lei Yu Chan, really fucking good. See you later, Dylan. Thank you, uh, Kuma Productions Music Group. See you later as well, man. Nice you all stop by. Hope you all have a good night. Same to you, Water Yoshi. Good night, Dylan. Good. All right. Well, that being said, uh, thank you all for stopping by. I hope to see some of y'all, maybe even all y'all, next time around. And um, until next time, this has been Dylan the Night Owl flying off.